Let's Talk. I'm your host, Lakshmi Singh, and this is my 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 co-host. My co-host. Where is my co-host? Um, yes, guys. So I want to tell you a little bit about my co-host, who's right here, Slick. Give him a big round of applause. Slick, you're always on time, aren't you? I mean, I gotta make an entrance, you know. <laughs> so, What's going on, guys? Welcome, welcome to Let's Talk. Well, thank you for being on time, and uh, what do we have here? Well, since today's show is about let's eat and let's drink, I bought you a little gift. Well, you know, Slick, it's let's talk and it's let's eat, not drink. I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy these fruits and you're going to eat it. You eat, I drink. Uh, well, being that you bought me some fruits, I'll forgive you. Guys, don't worry, it's like orange juice or fruit punch in there, okay? <laughs> That's what she thinks. <laughs> Let's see, let's see. This better be sweet, otherwise you're in big trouble, mister. Mmm. All right, all right. I have Sweets for my sweets. Mmm. Isn't he awesome, guys? Give him a round of applause. <laughs> well, Slick, being that today is all about cooking and food, let's talk about some restaurants. What's your favorite Caribbean restaurant? Well, I try not to eat out that much lately because I've been on this little diet thing trying to watch my figure. <laughs> What's no, so wait, funny? Why? Nothing. I love your figure. Yeah. But any which way, when I do decide to go out, I just recently moved to Brooklyn, so right around the block from me I could walk. I drive there because I'm lazy. There's a restaurant called Ali's Roti Shop. It's on Fulton Street. They have one of the best bus up shots. You guys need to check it out. But, beside me, where do you like eating West Indian wise? Well, you know what, Slick, you mentioned Brooklyn. And it just brought me back to a time of when I was a little girl. And I remember my mom would always go to Sybil's Bakery in Brooklyn. And I would remember sometimes we would go, and we would get that hot, hot, hot plat bread. And you could just break this bread, and you could eat it. You didn't need butter, you didn't need cheese, you didn't need jam. It would just like melt in your mouth. And that's one thing I remember about Brooklyn and Caribbean restaurants. But not only is Sibyl's a bakery, but they're also a restaurant now too. You can go there to get food. There's a location in Queens as well. They have the best food. But guys, make sure that you have time to stay on the line because the wait is so long there. Definitely. 20 minutes to a half an hour before you get served, but it's worth the wait. Other than West Indian cuisine, what else do you like? You know, I actually like Italian food. I, I'm not a big fan of Italian food, but if it is Italian food, it has to have that little Caribbean flavor to it. Rasta pasta is actually one of my favorites. And one of the best places to actually get that, it's a new restaurant that opened out in Queens. It's called um, Heat Restaurant. Mm -hmm. It's on 100th Street on Atlantic. I definitely recommend it. You guys should definitely check it out. You know, Heat Restaurant sounds like it's going to be some really good spicy Caribbean food. Yes, a lot of flavor. Guys, check it out. Well, you know what? When you go out, you always have to know what you're doing when you're dining out. And we've got the 10 tips when dining out. Let's take a look. Well, tip number one, Slick. Don't tip when you're drunk. You still won't get her number. <laughs> How many of you guys have ever been out and you have a nice sexy waitress or a handsome waiter mm -hmm. and you try to give that extra 25 percent gratuity just to try to get her number it don't always work take it from me <laughs> all right number two tip number two. Oh god when you're on a date and you're the one paying does the other person always order the most expensive thing what are you trying to say you like nice things, but Jesus, exactly. my pockets. My pockets. That's okay. You just oh. gotta, you know, I'll go do a little it. bit more. <laughs> All right, guys. Tip number three. Oh, this one. Bake and sawfish means bake and sawfish, not just the bake. What's up with these restaurants? How many of you have been to roti shops and you order bacon sawfish? You get two fat bake and two spoon sawfish. <laughs> You know. All right, guys. Tip, tip number, number four. four. Whenever you're out, very important tip. Always be nice to your waiter or waitress because you never know when you might get that special sauce. Oh, my God. You know one thing that I hate about some restaurants? Two things I hate. When they don't give you serving spoons and they don't give you water. And my girlfriends are always like, please watch me. Don't say anything. We don't want them spitting in our food. 
All right, tip number five, oh, slick. God. No cell phones or food selfies. No one cares about what you're having for dinner. I don't know how many of you know Lachmi, but when I go out with Lachmi, everything is hashtag food porn, hashtag this. She posts everything. All right, I am guilty. I do like to take pictures of what I eat and where I eat and how I eat and whom I'm eating with and, you know, dessert and coffee and appetizers. Everything is posted. Yeah. Everything. You get the picture. Tip number six. Seafood is a very big and funny thing when it comes to restaurants. If you don't know the seafood and where you're getting it from, don't go. You might get the crabs. Of course you would make that comment. Tip number seven. Avoid sauced up specials. It may have been yesterday's specials. Boo. Tip number eight. How many of you are familiar with food trucks? When you think of a food truck, what comes to mind? Chicken and rice and tacos, right? Check out other food trucks. There's a lot of variety of food trucks out there. You know what, Slick? We should have like a roti and curry food truck. Like roti on the run. That's something we have to look into. Yeah. Okay, tip number nine. Oh. Don't trust a skinny cook. You know, I always like to see who the chef is because if it's a solid person, you know they're eating their own food. That means it's gotta be great. <laughs> yeah. Tip 10, last but not least. If you're on a date, fellas, or ladies, always find out if your date knows how to cook, especially for the fellas. If her roti's not round, they shouldn't be a second date. Hmm. Well, I prefer reservations, but. Of course you do, finer things in life. You know, we're always talking about social media and what's hot in social media. I know Slicky found a good video for Let's Cook. There's actually a very, very known video going around. And it goes a little something like this. But before, if you, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let's take a look. We'll show you. cooking today so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a break for commercial and when we come back we'll meet chef Steven Cicerone. Boom bang! Let's talk! Let's talk! Planning a vacation? Contact Travelspan for the best service and deals to Guyana, Trinidad, the Caribbean and anywhere in the world. Ask about our special Caribbean packages, our cruise packages and our escorted tours to Dubai and India. Contact Travelspan now at 718-845- 0437 or book online at travelspan.com. Travelspan, a finer quality in travel. I'm in the kitchen with none other than famous Caribbean fusion chef, Chef Stephen Ciceron. Steve, how are you? I'm doing well. Pleasure to be here. I'm so excited to have you on this evening and we're going to be talking about pepper shrimp. So tell us a little bit about this famous dish, pepper shrimp. Awesome dish, awesome, awesome dish. It's typically a tomato-based sauce. Standard recipe, onions, sweet peppers, carrots. Mm -hmm. That's it, shrimp. Awesome dish. What I'm doing, I'm bumping it up. I'm doing my fusion, so a little bit of Thai, a little bit of Malaysian, a little bit of Chinese. We're still keeping it authentic, okay. but we're still, we're bumping it up. We're making it my way. Yeah, well, you know, you are famous for your fusion cooking, the Caribbean and the Asian cooking. So tell us a little bit about these ingredients. I mean, this looks so colorful and so delicious already. Tons of vegetables. <laughs> so what we're doing here, we have a medley of peppers. We have sweet, red, yellow, green. We have a little heat, a little kick is coming in from jalapeno peppers. Mm -hmm. We have carrots, and of course, you know, I love mushrooms. We so I had really I have mushrooms. to incorporate them into the dish. <laughs> well, I know you're really famous for your dumplings with the mushrooms in yeah. it. So this is going to be amazing. Those awesome. Some really awesome, big, healthy mushrooms there. One of my favorite <laughs> mushrooms is the oyster mushroom. It's meaty. It's the texture of it. It's very luscious. It works 
perfect with this particular dish. Awesome, I can't wait. So tell us about some of these ingredients here on the countertop. Right, so standard we have a ginger garlic paste. Mm. Um, you can find it store-bought, okay. but it's so much better fresh. Uh, it's fresh ginger, fresh garlic, half and half. Um, my addition to it is scallions. You want something a little bit herbaceous in there. Okay. So again, this is my recipe, guys. You can change this around. It's it's a guideline. If you don't like the scallions, you can use, you know, parsley. You can okay. use basil, Italian basil. If you can get Thai basil, that would be great with this dish. So anything herbal. I mean, we can grow some of these things in our backyard too. Definitely, definitely. Awesome. I do all the time for the summer. Great. What's next? <laughs> the next thing is I'm using chicken stock. Mm. So I, I made this myself, but store-bought is just as good. Okay. Right? Um, this, you have tons out there. You have low sodium. You have chicken. You have pork. You have beef. You can get seafood. You can get anything out of vegetable stock. Water is perfectly fine. Okay. Wine is even better. Ooh, wine. Okay. A little bit of white <laughs> wine. So again, falling back on the standard, it's a ketchup-based sauce. So we have a ketchup in there. Okay. I added two additional sauces in there just to kick it up, just to bump it up, just to do the fusion. So I have some oyster sauce and some hoisin sauce. Mm. And lastly, the star, shrimp. Okay. Peeled, deveined, cleaned, simple salt and pepper. We're going to stay away from, from adding a lot of salt mm -hmm. because the sauces do have salt. And I tell people this all the time. It's easier to add it later on. Okay. It's really hard to take away salt. Right. So it's better for you to just keep it, you know, nice and simple and season as you're going. Awesome. Well, it sounds pretty easy. Yeah, it is. So are we ready to cook we this We are ready trip? to roll. We're ready All to right. go. Let's do this. Let's go. <laughs> so Chef Steven, how long have you been cooking for? I've been cooking for quite a while. Uh, 20 years. Actually, 23 years to be exact. Awesome. I, I read somewhere that you started in the kitchen at the age of seven. I did. I started at home, you know, I have the typical mom, dad, my mom would do the, the breakfast, lunch, dinner type thing. Uh -huh. But I always wanted something different. So again, I had to start, I had to do it by myself and that's how actually how I started. Okay. So what is your favorite cuisine? My favorite cuisine is definitely Asian. Mm, I love, course. I love it. Uh, Thai, Malaysian, Korean, Japanese, although I don't cook Japanese. Mm -hmm. Thai, Malaysian, and Korean. What would you say is the healthiest thing to cook, the healthiest style of food to cook? That's a really hard question because every nationality, every ethnic group does have something healthy. Mm -hmm. So that's a really hard question. Um, the simple answer to that is steamed. Steamed, okay. So you <laughs> steam can steam anything, you can like steam chicken, or bake anything. fish. Yep. Okay. And what about tasting? I mean, like, would you say steam cooking is tasteful? So or it's it's taste all off. flavor profiles. You have to learn how to build your flavor profile. Mm -hmm. So something simple like this sauce, the ginger garlic sauce, um, you can do it with chicken. You know, mm -hmm. maybe you want to add basil. Um, sometimes you might want to add scallions, parsley. So you can play with it. Right. Now, Chef Stephen, I know you are our Caribbean celebrity chef. If you could cook for anyone out there, who would it be? <laughs> I know it's me, but you're cooking for it's, me now. Uh, I'm cooking for you now. <laughs> So besides I besides me, who would, you, who would you like to cook for? <laughs> I actually love TV host. Okay. So two names that come right off the bat: Andrew Zimmern. Okay. And the other gentleman who was just in Trinidad, Anthony Bourdain. Mm, awesome. So I would actually love to cook for either one of those guys, simply because they both travel. They do cooking shows. They they do Asia. Mm -hmm. So I love it. I love exactly what they're about. What would you cook for them? Oh my God, that's <laughs> such a hard question. Um, they so Andrew is is really different. He'll have uh -huh. about anything. He has the the, the weirdest stuff. Um, Anthony's the same way, but he loves heartier. What do you mean dishes. weird stuff? What is it that he's eating? Well, eating? he'll eat stuff that most folks would not try. Um, one dish is something called balut. It's a f fertilized egg. Oh. So it's something you get like in Thailand, you get it, you crack it open, and there's mm -hmm. a, a, it's a fertilized egg, so there's a bird in there. Oh. <laughs> Would you try that? No. I absolutely won't. not. <laughs> Very interesting. So if there was a celebrity chef that you could collaborate with, who uh -huh. would that be? Definitely Anthony Bourdain. Okay. Definitely Anthony Bourdain. Um, there's so many awesome chefs out there. Awesome, awesome chefs. 
I tend to like what he does and what okay. he's about and that. Awesome. This is already smelling absolutely amazing. Awesome. I awesome. Smell smell, the you ginger. smell the ginger, you smell the garlic. So oh from here, goodness. what we're going to do is just add the chicken stock, uh -huh. thin it out a little bit. Again, a bit. Mm -hmm. And now is where the sauce comes in. Mm, that looks so good. So who cooks for you? Yeah, that's, that's, that's a tough one. I cook for myself. Would you let anybody cook for you? I will. Mm -hmm. I, I actually... You will, so you I don't. Will. Yeah. Besides mommy. <laughs> Except mom. Okay. So mom makes the best food, right? Uh -huh. Um... But I'm, I'm still always so so critical about these things, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, always with the spices. They have to have a really good flavor profile in there. Mm -hmm. I like spicy, so it's definitely got to be spicy. Well, you know, Caribbeans, we love spicy food. Yeah, and this dish definitely is spicy. Well, of course, pepper, shrimp. So tell me, I mean, I know you're a chef. You mm -hmm. like to cook your own food. I know you cook for a lot of people. You also have your own catering business. Yes. But if you were to go to a restaurant, I mean, uh -huh. do you go out eating at all? Or I do go you just out prefer... eating a lot. Oh, you do? I do. Okay. I really do. Now, what is that like for you? Are you like always judging everyone's food? <laughs> <laughs> you have to be. Yeah. You have to be, right? Um, but you can't be over critical. Okay. You know, you, you really can't be because again, everyone is an individual. Everyone has an individual taste. So being a chef, it's one of those things where we're very proud yeah. of our dishes each chef is very proud we're all unique mm -hmm. so me making this this shrimp dish for you today you're not going to get it anywhere else you're it's gonna, going it, to be your own it's going unique to be taste. my my own unique taste so you can go to another chef you can go to 20 other chefs that's making the same pepper shrimp and but they're all going to be different and that's that's what's just awesome about it awesome so Chef Steven, tell us a little bit about Fusion 101. Fusion 101 is a company I created years ago mm -hmm. um, from my many travels. I, I love the Caribbean. I've been to all the islands and just sampling and working with different local chefs. I, I love working with local chefs. I'm not about the fancy and, and the tourist spots. Mm -hmm. That's all good and well, but I want the authentic flavor, the feel of a dish. I know normally every time you and I speak, you're uh -huh. generally traveling and yeah. you're generally cooking for some celebrity out in the Caribbean. <laughs> so, you know, we're Oops. really lucky to have you here on Let's Talk today. And oh my goodness, this is really smelling amazing. Healthy dish. It's, it's so healthy and tons of vegetables. Now, the carrots are going to take the longest here. So once okay. the carrot is cooked, everything else is done because the peppers cook really quick. Uh -huh. The mushrooms, the onions, they all cook really, really quick. Yeah, it looks like everything's cooking. Everything's cooking. Very, very well, uh -huh. and the smell is just amazing. So it looks like we're almost done, mm -hmm. and we're going to get a taste we of are. this wonderful pepper shrimp. We're adding in that last bit, last of, shrimp bit there. of shrimp there. Now, this was pre-cooked before. Yep, it was just the, how I sauteed the, the cup of shrimp in the beginning. Mm -hmm. um, it's the same thing. Again, nothing but salt and pepper. Again, because the sauce itself does has a lot of salt. Mm -hmm. So again, flavor profile, it's so much easier to add salt than take away. Awesome. So this took about five minutes, I'd say. That's it. We were chit-chatting here for a whole five minutes. It's, and it's all the, like it's all the prep ready. work. The prep work takes the longest and the dish is actually done. Awesome. Dish is actually well, done. Well, let's stop talking and let's start eating. Let's taste <laughs> this. <laughs> Definitely. So what I have here, is a little bit of rice mm -hmm. and I will plate this up for you and you tell me what you think mm, so of course so I, I'm gonna put those uh, those mushrooms in there for you yes Presentation is just Presentation. fabulous. You fabulous. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, let's eat, okay? Let's taste this. Mmm. 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 Good stuff, eh? This is so <laughs> delicious. Oh my goodness, Chef Steven, this is amazing. Guys, make sure you go on our website and you get this recipe for this amazing fusion caribbean pepper shrimp asian style all in a mix by our chef here steven cicerone i can't even talk it's so good <laughs> um slick i wish you were here not more for me i'll see you in a bit
Two months ago, after my mother's hospitalization, the doctors wanted to put her in hospice. And I'm like, you know, they deemed her terminal. And I saw Mr. Takur, I think the founder, on TV. And um, he was advertising this Indian community in Kings Harbor. It's a great Indian community where my mother feels at home and she expresses her happiness to me whenever I come. I know when I come, I feel happy. I stay couple and I see everybody and I'm so happy. I brought my mother here like a month and a half ago and I haven't regretted my decision. It's one of the best decisions I've made for my mother. It's a home away from home. Miss Lachmi Singh, I've heard you've been doing some naughty things. You've been cheating on me with Chef Ciceron, but I got something special planned for both of you. I'm making my own pepper shrimp. I have all my ingredients here, but before I start cooking, there's two things the entertainment needs. His own tunes and a shot. Wow, ah, let's cook. Pass me the keys to my truck. Who am I? The girls them lock. And I and I, we make love to precious stuff. You a bubble can get red deep like a bucket. Draw for your nigga, yeah, your nigga, if you can stitch it. Draw for your ox, and like a cow, you wanna chop it. Draw for your pick ox, and like a girl. Ah, the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add some sesame oil. Nothing crazy, little touch. Got my ingredients here, got my shallot, got my scotch bonnet pepper, ginger, garlic. You can't do pepper shrimp without the shrimp. And this here is the main ingredient, Korean chili. Gives it the flavor that it needs. Salt and pepper, can't forget that. Always the ingredients for any meal you prepare. Lunch, dinner, anything. Salt and pepper, gotta have it. All right. Pepper shrimp is looking nice. It's getting some color. It's getting some flavor. I'm gonna finish off with the last couple of ingredients, and then when I get back, Latch, we're gonna taste this. Chef Ciceron, we're gonna taste this, and then we're gonna see who has the best pepper shrimp. Planning a vacation? Contact Travelspan for the best service and deals to Guyana, Trinidad, the Caribbean, and anywhere in the world. Ask about our special Caribbean packages, our cruise packages, and our escorted tours to Dubai and India. Contact Travelspan now at 718-845-0437 or book online at Travelspan.com. Travelspan, a finer quality in travel. Yes! So, Miss Lachmi, you had your version of pepper shrimp with the famous chef Ciceron, but I took it upon myself to make my own and I brought it here for you to sample to tell me which one was better. You did, you did. Oh my God, I gotta right. tell you, Slick, I loved that. It was fantastic. I was just waiting for you to break out in song and dance. It kind of looked like a music video going on there. Jesus. I was I... just curious, what were you taking shots of though? I was taking shots of water. It was water. water. It's always water. Oh, water is the so best thing good. for you guys. H2O is the way to oh, go. Oh, way to go. Okay, well, let's try this pepper shrimp. You know, it looks really good. I love that you have the shallot on here. And look at the decor and your presentation. I so try, I try, I Let's try. try this. Um, you know what? Before I try this, you know what's like? I have a little surprise for you. Taste it. Taste it. You know what? Why don't we bring on Chef Steven Cicero to help me taste this? Guys, give it up for Chef Steven! Glad to have you on the show, by the way. Thank you. So, you know, Slick got a little jealous, like he usually does. I'm sensitive. I'm a cancer. Very, very sensitive. I'm a cancer. I'm sensitive. So he got a little jealous that, you know, you and I did that cooking show together. Hey. So he had to go and cook some pepper shrimp. And the studio told me he's been working really, really hard all week practicing this special 
pepper shrimp. Special pepper shrimp. So Chef Steven, I think we should taste this together. I think we so, should. Come on, man. Give me your honest it. opinion. I'm, you're the boss. I'm just trying to do what you do. It looks awesome. Thank you, Dad. It looks really, so. really good. I can smell it. it. Smells really, really good. Okay. Let's See try what's this. what's going on. Love, love the presentation, bro. Thank All you. Right. Cheers. Cheers. So do you eat the tail? I don't. I, I eat the tail. You eat the tail? I eat, the tail. All All right. Right. I eat everything. Mm. That's really good. That's really good. Thank you, thank you. I gave it a lot of love. That's really good. Right off the bat, good heat, bro. Thank you, sir. I didn't get a chance to try. Really, really good. I didn't get a chance to try your pepper shrimp. Well, we have a surprise for you. I love and surprises. So what we're gonna do today? I'm actually gonna make you guys my version. No of way. The pepper shrimp. Yeah. Right, right, right. your pepper shrimp. Which one do you think is better? Yours or his? So we all, we're going to be very diplomatic here and, and go with the whole every chef is an individual special. and special. Yeah. 100% fair. Things. Really good. I'll, I'll give it to you right off the bat. But really, really good. Listen Lives to up me. to the name pepper shrimp. Coming from you, that means a lot. I greatly appreciate it. I'm so looking good. forward to sampling you. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. Well, guys, special surprise. Chef Steven Cicerone will be cooking his famous pepper shrimp right here at Let's Talk and everybody's gonna go home with some pepper shrimp. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for coming out. Look forward for our upcoming episodes. Boom, bang, let's talk. Let's talk. Planning a vacation? Contact Travelspan for the best service and deals to Guyana, Trinidad, the Caribbean, and anywhere in the world. Ask about our special Caribbean packages, our cruise packages, and our escorted tours to Dubai and India. Contact Travelspan now at 718-845-0437 or book online at Travelspan.com. Travelspan, a finer quality in travel.